Why sustainability guidance? Why do we use that word as compared to some others? Well, we needed best practices, best practices, not rules, not regulations, not requirements, best practices for environmental aspects that are unique to our business. Key two words there, environmental aspects. In ISO terminology, they talk about aspects and impacts, cause and effect. What is it about your business that impacts the environment? That's your aspect. So we want to have practices, best practices, about the aspects that are unique to our industry. We're going to deal with it, we're going to address it ourselves, and not wait for someone to come in and tell us to do that. We want to help the members take the necessary steps in common. Another key phrase. It's not a standard, but if you follow these best practices, these guidelines that we're giving you, and you do so in common, it's going to help Tommy in Washington, D.C., because we're doing it in step on this path on the sustainability journey. So where do you start, and how much should you do? In broad strokes, the supply chain to the events industry has an ample supply of sustainability standards and certification programs. I rattled off a few. If you think of hotels, every hotel chain typically has their own branded sustainability or green program. Generally, I don't find them to follow that program. I don't know about you, but every time I use a towel and I hang that towel up, when I come back, that towel's been laundered. It's been replaced with a fresh towel. We might have seen plastic water bottles in our room here at the Hyatt. And I guess you can't drink Florida water out of the tap, but I did, and I think I'm okay. I like the fact that there were no plastic cups, there were glass cups, there were ceramic coffee mugs. So you see, they're walking part of the talk, but not walking it completely. But there's a whole host of these programs that are out there, and some of them are peer organizations. I think you would agree EIC is a peer organization. What's happening now with the Net Zero Carbon Events Initiative, I would say, is a peer organization. I'm not exactly sure why the Global Sustainable Tourism Council that was an organization that was focused on tour operators and resort hotels. I'm not sure why they transitioned from having that program in place for several years to now decide, oh, we need one for the mice industry, when the mice industry already has this and it has it in sufficient quantities. But some of these come from our peer organizations. We are not trying to take away, detract, compete with our peer organizations. We're not writing a standard to compete with their standard. We're not creating a certification protocol to compete with their certification programs. But what was lacking was a comprehensive overall review of the existing standards and their inadequacies for this particular vertical industry that is both EDPA and ESCA. We don't believe we need another standard, but rather we want to provide best practices and direction for you, our members, while at the same time offering our work to the peer organizations. When we're done, we anticipate taking what we've done, giving it to the EIC. The EIC Sustainable Event Standards currently has one for exhibit services, is what it's called. But it is not granular and to the depth that we need in this vertical industry, nor is it really completely telling us how to go down that path, that journey towards being sustainable. We're going to give it to the EIC. They may take it on board, they may decide to amend their standard and continue it into a certification program. Likewise, we had members, one in particular from B-Matrix, Edwin van der Vinay, he was on our working group so that we had the insight from what Net Zero was talking about so that we didn't duplicate what they were doing, but we improved upon it. He could go back to the Net Zero folks and say, hey, here's what EDPA is doing and here's what ESCA is doing. And in instances we've improved upon, let's say, for example, flooring, we have Emerald Carpets was on the working group. They did a nice job with us taking the net zero spreadsheet on flooring and what types of flooring were possibly recyclable, definitely recyclable, definitely not recyclable. And they went through and added a whole other page, basically, saying you need to think about the underlining, you need to think about more than what you've done, and it's an improvement. We're going to give that back to net zero and say, here's what we've done. Take of this what you would like. I am on the Net Zero working group, so I have some insight to know that they do intend to have an independent third-party certification program against the Net Zero initiative when they finish up. You can be certified against the EIC standard. You can be certified against Net Zero. You can be certified against ISO. That's all up to you. We're not going to say you must do this, be certified to this organization. From this, we're going to recommend back to those peer organizations that they should consider taking from us 
Those of you who want to be certified, you may. But most importantly, one that is relevant. We want them to take from us what our stakeholders have said is critical for our industry. We want them to take that and incorporate it into their programs and give us a certification that we would think is relevant.